assalamu alaikum students can you add these two fractions but not down there their denominators are different can you add these fractions well if you don't know don't worry about that because we are going to discuss this in this video but to discuss how we add these sort of fractions we are starting with the fraction with same denominators both of the denominators are light which is 6 you can see that and whenever we have the same denominators we simply add their numerators to find their sum since we have in numerator 1 plus 2 so we simply add 1 plus 2 or our final answer would simply be 3 and we just just copied the denominator as it is we have add 1 6 plus 2 6 with uh, and get the what the answer 3 6 right but uh, you can observe in the solution that we do not add the denominators but here is the question why don't we add the denominators the best way to understand mathematical concept it is visualization so let's look at this problem by visualization starting with the first fraction we have which is 1 6 taking a fraction bar so that we can visualize this as a bar since the denominator of this fraction is 6 so dividing this bar in 6 equal pieces the numerator of this fraction was 1 so shaded one part out of these 6 pieces next we have 2 6 again taking a fraction bar of same size the denominator is again 6 made three equal piece sorry six equal pieces of this bar the denominator is two this time so we have shaded two pieces out of total six pieces of this bar this is all we have in these two fractions and now we want to add them whenever we add two things we are simply combine all they do all the all of the things the two have in this fraction we have all these pieces so we have to combine them starting with the piece we have from the first fraction which is one piece out of six pieces and we have the same sized pieces in the second fraction so we have combined them like this now you can see this is our answer we have we have collected all the pieces we have in the previous two fractions one six and two six and in the final of resulting bar you can easily decode it to fraction which is 3 6 because here we have 3 pieces out of total 6 pieces why did not we added the denominator well the denominator is not counting it simply let us know the size of the piece 6 only let us know that we have divided the whole in 6 equal pieces it does not let us know that we have 6 something right we it only let us know that we have divided a whole in six equal pieces so we have done we have done that in both the fractions and divided both the bars in six equal pieces so we have got the pieces now numerator is letting us know how many pieces do we have one piece in this fraction and two pieces in this fraction so all together we have one two three three pieces out of total six pieces since the piece size of the pieces are still same so we can write the same denominator there is no need to change it why did we change the numerator because in this friction we have one now we have three right so since the shaded part has same and the size of the pieces are not changed the denominator should not be changed and here it is not changed you can see this right so this is how we add the frictions with like frictions like denominators now let's change the question to the question we started the video with one half plus two six again we follow the strategy of visualization so that we can start making sense of it they have they have got different denominators no matter if you visualize you can make and you can come up with the solution of this starting with the first fraction one half taking a fraction bar the, the denominator is two dividing it two equal pieces and shading one of it the next fraction we have is 2 6 again taking the bar of same size here you you are supposed to note down something whenever you are talking about fractions this bar representing the one whole so if you are taking one half so you are using the same sized hole you should be using for 2 6 
the size of the bar should not be changed but the pieces size should can be changed depending on the denominators so to represent 2 6 we will use the same sized bar that we use for one half now we have divide denominator is 6 so we are dividing this bar in 6 equal pieces and shading 2 of them now this is what we have and we need to add them that means we have to color them this is what we have right so simply why can't we combine them the way we combined in the last question we can simply take the part from the first fraction and added the part from the second fraction in this and now we can simply have a, a resulting for a bar why can't we do that well now you can do you can see that in the resulting bar we have the pieces of different sizes so you cannot write its fraction to write something as a fraction you have to divide the thing in C equal pieces this blue piece is larger than the remaining pieces you can see that right in this fraction you can see the pieces were of same size in this fraction you can see the pieces were of same size to each other but after combining them we have a got the pieces of different sizes so we cannot combine them we cannot add them up it is simply as you had five apples and three oranges and you are adding five plus three that's eight but what do exactly you have do you have eight apples or eight oranges well would you say both the answer are incorrect you have five apples and three oranges and you cannot combine them same happens in the fractions when you have different size pieces you cannot combine them because you cannot say whether you have three halves or three six what do you have you can got one and two you can you will get six three but what you have three halves or sixth you cannot say right so what can we do let's see what do we do and how do we solve this problem I am taking another bar which is divided in six equal pieces because my second fraction bar was divided in six equal pieces now if I want to shade if I want to represent this part this part of this whole using this bar can I do this yes I can do simply like this if you look at these two fractions both them them both of them represent the same part of the whole it is representing this part and it is also representing, representing the same part but this fraction will definitely be known as 3 6 because there are 3 shaded parts out of total 6 parts so this is 3 6 fractions but they shade the same part these sort of fractions you better know are known as equivalent fractions because they talks about they talk about same part using the different numerator and denominators but because they are same we can simply change one to other without changing any other factor so what i am saying is that you can take one half and you can take three six you can take any one of them they both represent the same thing so we are taking three six instead of one half because both are equivalent and both represent the same part but after doing that you can see that we have got these fraction and both of them have same denominators and in the visualization you can see they have same sized pieces in both the fractions and now since the size of the fractions uh, the pieces are same so you can simply combine them starting with the pieces we have in the first bar we can color that uh, the part from the second bar now all we have is this which you can simply say that it is 5 6 because you have 5 shaded parts out of total 6 parts of a bar right so this is the answer of this fraction sum 5 6 so you have visualized that what we do we simply first write them the fraction which is given in its equivalent fraction since the denominator were different that means the pieces size of the pieces were different and we could not add them what we do we find the equivalent fractions like this after finding the equivalent fraction in such a way that the both of the bars should have same pieces now we have same pieces and these two are equal so instead of adding this and this we can still adding this and this because these two are equal so adding these two we have got three plus two five pieces of same size and we can say that we have five six 
the same thing happened when we did it in numerical form or fractional form you can see here we first found the equivalent fraction of one half which is three six then we have got the same denominator so we have just added the numerators and got the answer five so now you have understood how you can combine the fractions with different denominators what we all do let the, the fraction with the different denominators and if we want to combine them with addition or subtraction we first have to make them like and how we can do that with the help of the equivalent fractions and you have already studied this and you know that equivalent fractions can be found by simply multiplying or dividing a same number with both numerator and denominator let's see is it working in this solution or not look at this denominator which is 2 if we multiply this with 3 so you get 6 because the 6 is the denominator of the second fraction as well since you multiplied 3 uh, sorry 2 with 3 so you have to multiply the same number with the numerator so you have multiplied the same number 1 times 3 equals 3 so you it works here so we can understand from this whenever we want to take and replace any fraction with its equivalent fractions we have to multiply the numerator and denominator with the with the same number like 3 we did here because when we multiply a same number with numerator and denominator both what we got is equivalent fraction so just use this concept and let me give you a question like this you are supposed to solve this on a piece of paper and you can after solving you can play the video to see for the solution I hope you have solved this if not please keep the video paused here we have a denominator 4 which is definitely different from the denominator 8 but how we can make 4 to 8 simply we have to multiply 2 with 4 and we will get 8 as we have seen in the previous we can only take the equivalent fraction and for that we have to multiply the number with the numerator as well 4 times 2 equals 8 and 1 times 2 equals 2. Now we have we can see that this is this fraction 1 fourth is same or equivalent to the fraction 2 8. Why? Because we have multiplied the same number 2 with both numerator and denominator. Now we have got a fractions which are like or having are same denominators. So we can simply combine their numerators. Since we are supposed to subtract, so we need to subtract, do subtraction here. 6 minus 2 simply equals 4. So this is the final answer which is 4 eighths. We have discussed everything in the video but in the last of the video I would like to discuss one more thing. We can solve this question something like this as well. If you look at this, we have multiplied the numerator and denominator both by 2. But we can also divide the denominator and numerator by 2 to make them like. Just keep the objective in mind that you are supposed to find the equivalent fraction, uh, sorry, the like fractions, uh, fractions with same denominators. For that you multiply this fraction by 2 and 2 and you got 2 eighths. But what if we can get this like fractions or like denominators by dividing? We can simply do that because for having equivalent fraction we can multiply or divide both in this solution converting 4 to 8 I have do an inverse of it and converted 8 to 4 I divided 8 with 2 we got 4 so we divide the same number with the numerator so dividing 6 with 2 you get 3 and dividing 8 with 2 you get 4 and this fraction is copied as it is now you have got a like fractions you can simply subtract the numerators and you got the final answer and you can see you have got the same answer because 2 4 and 4 8 are equivalent and they represent the same part of the whole thank you so much for being in this video i hope you have understood by visualizing and you have you have got the better understanding of combination of algebra fractions thank you so much